So let's start. So today we will start. Today we will study regarding the. Today we will study regarding the. Okay. We will study regarding the composition and quantities of solid waste. Okay. Actually, uh, yesterday we studied about the categories of waste. I hope so that you have got the PDF of the PPT. Okay. So today we will study about the composition and quantities of waste, solid waste. Okay. See, there is a difference between the categories of waste. Categories of waste is a different thing, okay, and composition is a different thing, okay. So you should not be confused amongst the two, okay, uh, because categories means what? There are different types of waste: solid, municipal solid waste, hazardous waste, and different types of waste. At least there are around ten categories of waste over there, okay. So ten categories of waste over there, and today we will study about the composition of solid waste, okay. So what are the main components of solid waste, okay? So, what does it contain? So what actually does this solid waste contain? Okay, so we will study about that and the quantities of waste that are that is released in India. Okay, in India, how much quantity of waste? What is the per capita generation of waste? Okay, so that we have to uh, see. Okay, that we have to see. Okay, so today, okay. So today we will study about this. Okay, let's start. Okay, contents. So, uh, the contents of this uh, of today's topic is composition of solid waste, composition of MSW in Indian centers, quantities of MSW generated, and references that are used. Okay, okay. The composition of MSW generated. Okay, composition of municipal solid waste. Okay. So as you already know, uh, we have. Uh, already studied about this okay the composition of msw actually it varies over the world okay so in every world in, in every country the composition of waste is different okay for every for example india how much does it generate so i, I yeah, yesterday I told, I told you that india generates 62 million tons okay 62 million tons of waste is generated every year and around 1.45 lakh tons per day waste is generated in india okay but this is not same for every country it is different for us it is different for china it is different for other countries okay so it varies throughout or even the same country itself even in a country itself it changes from place to place okay for example the waste generation capacity of mumbai is uh, mumbai is different in comparison to delhi in comparison to jalgaon and every other state okay so in state wise also in place wise also it 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 varies why it varies because it depends on the number of factors social customs okay what are the social customs that for example whatever social customs we follow uh, we, we follow okay then uh, for example religious places we go okay so there the social customs that we follow that uh, in that case jaise mandir mein hum jaate hain to religious places hote hain diwali wagaira manate hain log theek hai so that social customs okay standard of living okay for example standard of living now you if you compare the standard of living of our In the district we live, and the standard of living of Mumbai, okay. So it 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 varies, okay. So that's why the waste generation capacity. So so more the standard of living, higher the standard of living. So more is the uh, waste generation capacity, okay. Then geographical locations where the country exactly lies, or where the state or the where the place exactly lies. So that also depends on that. And the climatic condition, okay. For example, the wet climate in the rainy season, the Uh, water uh, the moisture content of the waste increases due to the tonnage capacity so the tons of waste also the weight of waste okay also increases okay so as different activities generate differential amount of waste okay so different activities generate different amount of waste so as the uh, so the msw generated in specific in india is heterogeneous in nature okay so there are there are various types of activities that are there in india okay so the nature of waste is not homogeneous it is not same it is very heterogeneous it is very different okay And it makes it difficult to exactly define the actual composition of solid waste. Okay, so what is the actual composition of solid waste? Not only for India, for the other parts of the world itself, the what is the actual composition of waste generated? That's that's very ambiguous. Okay, it it seems to be very ambiguous. Means it's not very clear. Means it it looks quite blurry. Okay, so it's very difficult to just specify that what quantity of paper is generated, yeah, what quantity of glass is generated. Okay, it is very difficult to determine the concentration or the composition of waste. Okay, but still. i have gathered some data from various websites and from various books i have just uh, um, uh, uh, i have just gathered the data and the actual average or the rough value what is the com composition so i have incorporated in the further slides okay so uh, but based on the activities and processes carried out in the sectors various sectors so the composition of waste in general in totality it consists of this 11 i will tell you about the, uh, 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 around 10 10 to 11 components are there in the waste first is the paper products okay so paper products are there 
so we know that india is a india is a second largest manufacturer of paper after china okay so we generate a lot of paper waste in india okay so what exactly the paper waste is generated okay so that we will study about this that how much tons and how much tons of paper waste is generated then glass glass also is one of the component in waste okay the glass okay then third is aluminium aluminium is a non ferrous metal okay and aluminium lies in and so it is in, it is a semiconductor it also is a semiconductor semiconductor okay then ferrous metals ferrous metal ferrous means what ferrous means the metals that contains of iron and steel okay iron and steel so the metals that contains of iron and steel they are called as ferrous metals okay then next is the other metals other metals like the other uh, other metals or we can say that the other non ferrous metals like copper zinc lead so they are they, they are also present in what they are also present in the waste okay next okay next is about uh, plastic okay plastics another plastics though plastics is still banned in india the thin plastics okay single use plastics but still the plastics are used very often in india and it is more than that of the foreign countries okay then uh, rubber rubber uh, rubber textile food waste yard waste household hazardous waste and the toxic compounds okay so these are also used in india okay means these are these are the composition of waste not in india all over the world you will find this much of composition of waste okay so these are these are the, this is the composition of waste that is found okay the next is regarding So first is paper. Okay. So what about paper? Wait, take me down. So out of the chunk of MSW generated in the world, okay. So lion share means lion share means what? The most of the majority of the share is done by paper. Okay. Paper and paper and products are there. So these paper and paper products actually make up the uh, actually make up the chunk of waste. Okay, means uh, if, if 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 it is hundred percent of waste. Okay, if it is hundred percent of waste. Okay, nearly about around in in foreign countries. Okay, around forty percent forty percent of the forty uh, percent of composition is for the paper. Okay, not in India. India is it's a little bit less. Okay, it is around uh, I have given the data here also. Okay, but in foreign countries like USA. Uh, I have given the data over here. Thirty-eight to forty percent composition of paper is there by weight. This whatever composition I have I am giving over here in the in the further side itself. Okay, these composition are by or what the percent the percentage by weight. Okay, by by weight. Okay, not by volume. So by weight, the concentration or the composition of waste is thirty-eight to forty percent in USA and two point nine to six point four percent in India. For example, if hundred grams of hundred grams of waste or hundred kilograms of waste is released in India, okay. So out of that, only three to six three to six kilograms of waste is of paper. And similarly, for USA, if hundred kilograms of waste is in USA, so thirty-eight to forty kilograms of waste is of paper and paper products. Okay, the manufacturing of paper to involves generation of colossal amount of waste water. Okay, we have already seen that in the paper paper waste water waste water treatment plants in paper uh, waste water uh, generation is very high in case of paper paper and solid waste too. And after manufacturing, two does the same and causing twin harmful effects to the environment. Okay, so it will produce the harmful effects to the environment. Okay, paper used everywhere in a country, starting from the residential area. So in the residential area, we use paper. Okay, you can find in the, the in the residential waste itself, the paper of the amount of paper, and in the industrial area as well, in the commercial sector also, and in the industrial sector also, you will find the uh, paper use of paper. Okay. And uh, if you see that in the low-income countries, so the low-income countries, the one to ten percent is there for paper. Middle-income countries, fifteen to forty percent, and fifteen to percent is the high high-income countries. Okay. Now, low-income countries, middle-income countries, and the high-income countries. Okay. Low-income countries means, uh, see, the definition of the low-income, middle-income, high-income countries they exactly change. Okay. Every year, depend upon the GDP of the country. Okay. Uh, as for the GDP of the country, the uh, the definitions for the for for this and the economy of the country. This, the, the definition of this uh, in low income countries they get changed okay uh, now what is the present definition that is the homework for you just see what what sort of country are called low income countries what sort of countries are called the middle income countries and what sort of countries are called the high income countries okay so if you just see okay so our country india our country india comes under the low income country okay and the standard that is being the composition is 1 to 10% that has been specified okay same uh, it lies between the, there only okay 
and same is 30 to 40 percent. So it lies in the middle income and high income countries. So USA, some state might be middle income states in USA, but in majority like New York, okay, New York, it comes into the high income states in the US. Okay, so in US also you can see that 15 to 40 percent of waste are generated, right? So 15 to 40 percent of waste are generated in uh, high income countries, and US is one of those countries. So you can see the comparison between India and USA. Okay, so I have given the comparison and comparative com comparable approach over here to just uh, so that you can just go through go through this. Okay. Next, next is regarding. Okay, so this is a uh, image you can see paper waste. Okay, so everywhere, as in so in the official of official areas or the industrial areas, you might have seen such type of actually uh, such type of images okay, over there and uh, and even in, even even you can see i think so even, even in an institute also you can see that when the papers and whatever whatever the assignment you submit okay so it looks uh, when, whenever you give it to a bhangarwala or like that something like that okay so it will look just like this okay so this is the paper waste that is generated and this are the this is one of the component actually you will find in the waste okay paper waste okay then glass okay so glass is a, a glass actually you will find glass Glass. So glass occurs in MSW primarily in the form of containers. Okay, so in the containers we'll find like soft drink bottles, beer bottles, liquors, uh, then jars of foods, everything, whatever you will. So you'll find glasses over there. Okay, so you'll find glasses over there. Glass is also a common durable goods such as appliances and consumer electricity. Okay, so in appliances also you can find the uh, common durable goods uh, glasses you can find. Okay, approximately three million tons of glass is generated in India per year. Okay, so this is the data of. Uh, data presently okay three million tons of glass is generated in per year it is generated not waste three million tons of glass is produced every year and the market is presently to be grown at eight percent in the coming years okay the composition of glass in msw is excellent percentage is shown below okay so in low income countries 0.5 to 0.5 to 3.5 percent middle income country, one to ten percent four to ten percent in case of high income countries okay see this 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 values you have to remember okay i have given in the simplified form you have to remember this values okay pura value yaad nahi rakha to chalega agar aap thoda thoda agar value approximately value agar yaad nahi rakhte ho then it is sufficient okay so ye values hain so you have to remember this values matlab uh, try ek trick dhoondo ki jisse aapko ye values yaad ho jaye theek hai in India, you can find 0.5 to 6.56 to 9.94 percent of glass as per the research by Nirvi and as per the EPA Environmental Protection Agency, this 5 to 6 percent in USA. So you can see USA comes under this category. Okay, India is in this category. So you can just compare it. Okay, if you if you if you just have a comparable approach over, uh, if you just try to apply the uh, comparison approach over here, then you will just uh, find that where India exactly lies in low income countries, high income countries, middle income countries, or where USA lies. So you can just have a uh, comparison from here okay so let's move forward now okay so this is a glass waste okay so this is a glass waste so i um, i hope that you might have all seen you might have all uh, you might have all gone through this or you might have all seen this uh, visuals okay i hope so that uh, I hope so that you might have seen this visual that the bottles of uh, um, cold drinks and everything, okay, uh, the the data disposed, okay, so it looks like this, okay. So you, you might have find this, okay. The next is about aluminium ceramics, okay. So aluminium ceramics, the largest source of aluminium producer, uh, are used in beverages, okay. So in beverages, we generally use this uh, aluminium, okay, beverage containers or other packaging, okay. If you are using any packaging products, okay, you will use the aluminium over there, okay. So according to Ministry of Mines, India has the seventh largest bauxite reserve, okay. So we are having the seventh largest bauxite reserve, and bauxite is an ore of aluminium, which is around 2,985 uh, million tons in financial year 17. And aluminium production stood at 1.7 million tons metric tons, okay. So 1.7 million tons of met uh, million metric tons of aluminium was produced in the financial year 2000. 17 and in financial 2018 it was 1.67 million tons of aluminium was generated okay aluminium oxide is also used in ceramics okay it is used in aluminium that is al2o3 okay it is used in uh, ceramics also and being strong hard chemically inert it is used in available in tonnage quantities in material now okay 
and what is the uh, quantity of aluminium in waste okay so it is 0.5 to 0.35 percent in low income countries 1 to 10 percent over year 4 to 10 percent in high income countries okay so in india it is 0.56 to 0.94 percent in india as well as and 1 to 2 percent in usa okay so you can just compare that where india lies where usa lies okay so there is a difference over there so you all might think that uh, india uh, generates more amount of waste yeah india generates more amount of waste than usa but it is very it, it's actually very wrong because usa generates usa and china because they are far more developed countries than india but they generate more waste in comparison to india okay they generate more waste but the solid waste but the solid waste uh, management but the solid waste management of usa is far more better than india okay even in china also china also generates more waste than india per year but still the management of solid waste management of uh, china is more uh, is far more better than india okay let's move forward now so uh, this is actually the image so whenever you see the aluminum scrap actually this is an image of aluminum scrap scrap is a waste material okay it's waste of aluminum waste only some some can some can be recycled some cannot be recycled so this 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 sort of visuals you might have been you might have seen in actually in your daily visual okay you might have seen it in jalgaon itself or at some some other some other place okay then ferrous metals okay so i've already told you what what are ferrous metals okay so ferrous metals are generally iron and steel okay so the iron and steel we actually we have uh, iron we have a good uh, we have actually uh, the iron and steel industry it is very this is one of the largest uh, industry in india and it contributes around a maximal portion to the gdp of the country okay it contributes a maximal portion of the gdp of the country okay and the largest entry of category of metals in msw are on the weight basis okay the majority of ferrous metals in fsw are, uh, are in appliances okay so where these are where these are actually found okay in appliances in furnitures in other durable goods okay containers and packaging are also the primary source of ferrous metals okay? in the packaging and packaging materials we will find the ferrous metals okay India imported around 6.7 million tons of ferrous scrap in 2018 and 4.6 million tons of uh, scrap in 2020. Okay, so these are the scrap. So you can see the reduction in this scrap. In 2018-19 was 6.7 million tons of waste of ferrous scrap and it is around 4.6 million tons of ferrous scrap in 2020. India is the second production of ferrous metals after China. Okay, after China, the uh, India is the second most production of iron and steel industry and it contributes the maximum of GDP. Okay, and 4.6 million tons of ferrous metals was generated in uh, waste. It was generated in uh, 2019-20. It was around 2018-19. It was 6.7 million tons uh, was imported. Okay, and uh, the composition of ferrous metals in MSW. Okay, in India specifically is uh, 0.32 to 0.8 percent. Okay, and 5.8 to 6 percent in USA. And see the low income that is 0.2. 2.5%, 1.5, 1 to 1 to 5% in middle income countries and high income is 3 to 13%. And you can see the range where India lies in the low income countries, USA over here, right? So this is actually the very, this is actually uh, the condition of India over here, okay? So this is the ferrous metal scrap. This is the iron scrap, iron or steel scrap. You can just see. Uh, if you just go to a lab, laboratories, and laboratories itself in an institute, you will find such type of scrap over there. Okay. Next, non-ferrous metals. Non-ferrous metals. Okay. So non-ferrous metal. This is a recent news. The brackets I have added over here. This is a recent news that I that I that I have just gone through. It came in July 2020. Okay, July 2020. So I have incorporated this in between the slide about the non-ferrous metals. You can write this thing also because see whatever I will be giving you or whatever whatever I give that as per, that is as per the per current conditions. Okay, in manual in CPSW manual you will find it that in CPSW manual you will find okay that uh, the um, in CPSW manual you will find the uh, actual uh, values that are given in the manual. It's based on the data that is being generated on generated on 2000 in, uh, in the year of 2000 and uh, 2000 or 1999. Okay, but uh, at the time of 2000, uh, 2000. Okay, uh, the wage generated was around uh, around something uh, 38 million tons per year in India, but now it is generated 62 million per tons in India. Now 62 million per wage generated. So the composition will get varied. Okay, at that time. So with the COVID-19 pandemic, okay, causing disruption in the country. Demand for non-ferrous metals has severely impacted. It has been severely impacted because non-ferrous metals like copper, zinc, we generally use in our electrical appliances and everywhere. Okay, 
so the non ferrous uh, uh, metals of demand okay it has severely impacted in the current calendar year okay the consumption is likely to contract 3 to 4% for copper and zinc and up to 8% for aluminum so in the non ferrous metals you will find 3 to 4% of copper and zinc will contain 8% aluminum and, and the aluminum uh, metal or the aluminum uh, metals we generally use it in our vessels in the utensils okay see this is this is the condition that it will contract the market will contract so the people who are working over there will likely to face some sudden disruption to the covid 19 okay the covid 19 pandemic has not only impacted metal consumption but it has also resulted in mining activities itself okay the mining activities which would restrict the availability of metals in the physical market going forward that is the icra ratings uh, vice president and group head jayant roy said so he is the icra icra is a rating group that rates the economy of the country okay so he has said that the covid 19 uh, activities have not only uh, disrupted the metal industries like iron and steel but also the non metal and non non ferrous metal industries like mining activities and other things okay so you can just see that this is the impact of covid 19 on the non ferrous the non ferrous metals generally used in a daily life okay non ferrous metals such as copper and zinc and lead are found in durable products such as appliances and consumer electronics we find it and lead is generally found in the automobile batteries in the batteries of automobiles we find this lead okay in the whatever you use okay is the most relevant of non ferrous metals the market for the same is going by 15% 15% just after the glass market non ferrous market the non ferrous metal market will also grow, grow okay then the composition of non ferrous metals in ms blue is expressed as the percentage in blue and this percentage are by percentage by weight i have already told you okay so percentage by weight se isko hum log consider karte hain right so in low income countries middle income countries high income countries the values are given 0.25% 0.25% and in india it is around 0.28% we release uh, the waste composition for the waste composition for the non ferrous metals and 2 to 3% of uh, in us okay see the covid 19 pandemic has exactly yeah the industry the industries of non ferrous metals they will just uh, suffer a contraction for that but uh, on the contrary you will find that the waste exactly the, the waste uh, the waste generation capacity will uh, subse- subsequently Uh, reduce okay will subsequently reduce uh, uh, with the with the effect of covid 19 okay but yeah the market will actually contract but obviously the waste will reduce and the composition if you just try to calculate the composition for this year of the solid waste we'll find that the point it will be far more lower than this 0.2 to 0.8% of waste this was as per the research by nirvi conducted recently okay then after that uh, what i will tell you yeah yeah so this is about this uh, non ferrous metal scrap okay so you have seen such non ferrous metal copper agar copper ko hum log aise dispose kar dete hain so is tarah se kuch lagega wo so ye aapka uska picture hai theek hai next is plastics okay so plastics is one of the famous thing that we generally use koi vegetable buy karne aate hain kuch bhi khareedne aate hain hum log market jaate hain supermarket jaate hain wherever we go plastic ka hona zaruri hai plastic leke jaate hain and plastic is one of the major thing that we consume today okay ये प्लास्टिक्स को हम लोग बहुत ज्यादा कंज्यूम करते हैं या कोई पता होगा ठीक है पैकेजिंग करना रहेगा कुछ भी करना रहेगा यूज इट प्लास्टिक्स ओके एंड काफी ड्यूरेबल होता है एंड वी यूज इट एवरीवेयर राइट देन प्लास्टिक ओके सो प्लास्टिक्स इज एक्सैक्टली वट इज देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ प्लास्टिक इवन इज पाइप पाइप में प्लास्टिक पीवीसी पाइप एच टी पी पाइप ओके हाइड पॉलीथलाइन पॉलीप्रोपलाइन वी यूज सो बहुत सारे सॉर्ट ऑफ प्लास्टिक तो इतने सारे प्लास्टिक्स हम लोग यूज करते हैं कारपेट अप्लायसेस में यूज करते हैं कारपेट यूज करते हैं हमारे कूलर्स वगैरह जो बनाते हैं टीवीज वगैरह में हम यूज करते हैं ओके सो वेयर एवर वी फाउंड दैट प्लास्टिक्स आर यूज्ड एवरीवेयर ओके एंड इंडिया इज द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ प्लास्टिक ऑफ चाइना ओके सो इसमें अगर आप देखते हो दैट प्लास्टिक्स इज अ प्लास्टिक्स आल्सो कंट्रीब्यूट टू द मैक्सिमम पोर्शन ऑफ द एमएसडब्ल्यू आफ्टर द पेपर पेपर के बाद जो जो मैक्सिमम जिस कंट्रीब्यूट करता है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्लास्टिक्स ओके सो प्लास्टिक्स कंट्रीब्यूट अ लॉट ओके let's go through this now plastics plastics are used in durable and non durable goods in containers packaging use karte hai okay uh, in ms blue durable goods mein use karte hai appliances furniture furniture mein apni hote hai carpets products mein use hote hai theek hai there are hundreds of different resin formulation used in appliances okay resins jo hum log use karte hai carpets mein resins jo log use karte hai wo bhi plastic ke bane hote hai theek hai plastics are found in non durable products also jaise for example diapers mein diapers hote hai trash bags cups eating utensils okay so sporting goods household items so and even in shower curtains itself we use such plastics okay plastic food such items are generally 
मेड ऑफ क्लियर फोम पॉलिस्टोरिन ओके सो उसमें पॉलिस्टोरिन यूज होता है देन ट्रैश बैग्स ट्रैश बैग जो हम लोग ट्रैश बैग्स यूज करते हैं ट्रैश बैग्स जैसे आप लोग कचरा फेंकने आते हो घर घर के बाहर ओके सो वी यूज दिस पॉलिथिन दैट इज द एचडीपी हाई डेंसिटी पॉलिथिन एंड लो डेंसिटी पॉलिथिन उसमें अगर आप चेक करोगे वी जस्ट ट्राई टू जस्ट इंटेंड टू चेक द द प्लास्टिक ओके सो विल फाइंड एचडीपी हाई डेंसिटी पॉलिथिन पॉलिथिन इसको यूज करते हो ओके a wide variety of other resins are also used in non durable goods so they are all resins the yeah, hdp polypropylene they are all resins okay plastic resins are used in container packaging bottles for example container bhi hum use kar sakte hai packaging bottles jaise polyethylene jaise pet bottles the soft drink hote hai usko hum pet bottles use karte hai okay high density bottles matlab milk and water uske liye bhi bottle hoti hai then bag sacks so these these are all the uses of plastics that we are finding okay so is tarah ke plastics jo products hote hai we generally use in a daily life okay नेक्स्ट हम लोग पढ़ते हैं अभी देन इन फाइनेंशियल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इन इंडिया टिल जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी रिसेंट डेटा ओके दिस इज द रिसेंट डेटा द प्लास्टिक एक्सपोर्ट्स इन इंडिया वॉज अराउंड सेवन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव बिलियन यूएस डॉलर्स दट इज द हाइएस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन इंडिया ओके एंड द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम प्लास्टिक मटीरियल वॉज यूएस टू पॉइंट नाइन वन बिलियन डॉलर्स फॉर प्लास्टिक एंड द प्लास्टिक शीट्स फिल्म एंड प्लेट्स it was around us 1.2 billion dollars and packaging million was 72.7.4 million dollars this was, this is see the, see the current demand of plastics over india so billion dollars mein ja raha hai right india generates around 26000 tons of plastic a day this per as per the cpcb estimate of 2012 and even today it is it can be it is even more than that okay so 26 million tons of waste is generated in india worse a little and worse thing is that 10000 tons a day of plastic remains uncollected uncollected in the waste dumps just try to just go to just try to go to, towards the waste dump today you will find that maximum tons of waste of plastic are still uncollected and it remains as it is over there it gets decomposed and it tries to emanates and it and it, and it, and it emanates foul smell from the dump okay and the uncollected plastic waste eventually ends up in the natural environment for example in a Uh, natural environment for example in our seas and uh, in our seas and or um, piling up in a lands okay so where they will find over them okay so they try, try to get disposed in the land and it's a worst thing that that only 10000 tons a day of plastic are only remain uncollected and 16000 tons are only recycled okay so that 10000 tons is also a maximum is, is, a, is also a large number okay we have to just uh, try to recycle the plastics as much as possible okay and you can see the composition of plastics low income countries 1 to 5% 2 to 6% middle income countries and 2 to 10% for high income countries but in india you will find it 8 to 10% of plastics are still generated 8 to 10% of plastic is still generated in that which is far more higher and 11 to 12% of in usa so usa is slightly higher than that okay so in usa if you see usa if you see the plastic uh, composition it's if you compare with india uh, though it is very higher but still it is actually acceptable because you can see that usa in usa the, the plastics they use okay they produce more plastics but plastics actually they use is very actually they they, can, they use uh, very uh, they can the, the consumption of plastics is very less over there consumption of plastics is more means they actually don't use plastics for they means they use uh, if they go for shopping they use cloth bags or uh, uh, jute bags or other bags but they don't use such type of plastic bags over there because some regulations and some uh, ju- um, some uh, regulation or legislation they have formulated formulated for the um, for this plastic waste okay so plastic waste okay so if a plastic is dumped like this okay so this if, if you just go to the dumping ground or if you just go to go to the dumping ground near your house you will find such type of plastic waste okay means it is very common it is very common you will find okay then rubber and leather this is another type of waste we have seen so india produces around 7 lakh 13000 natural rubber okay so natural rubber was produced in india uh, in 2017 and as a producer india has a market share of about 5.3% of the global natural rubber market okay so 5.3% of the global market of rubber is there in india right so india has been recycling and reusing waste as for four decades for the four decades means 40 years that india is recycling and using the uh, uh, rubber okay it is estimated 60% of the disposed are to illegal dumping okay despite this india is second largest producer of reclaimed rubber after china 
in 2011, India produced 90,000 metric tons of reclaimed rubber. Okay, means reclaimed means recycled rubber they produce. So India recycles the rubber and they use it for other purposes. Okay, automobile and truck tires is the predominant source of rubber. Okay, so rubber in kaka use hota hai? Automobile truck tires jo mara hota hai, usme rubber hota hai. And other sources include footwear, clothing. There we use the rubber. Okay, the composition of rubber in Amazon is 1 to 5 percent in low income countries, 2 to 6 percent in middle income countries, and 2 to 10 percent in high income countries. Okay, in India it is 1.2 to 1.5 percent. So it lies over in the low income countries. And 2.7 to 3% is for the mid income country for USA and it comes in these high income countries. Okay. So you can just see and you can just compare over, over here. Okay. So yeah, if you have image generally you just often see this type of image rubber rubber ke Okay. So you have image of the image For example, you will find a graph. Shad se agar aap jalga mein ko pata nahi kitha dekha mere kahi to dekha hai isko you will just find such type of you will such type such type of image over there ki sir rubber ko sir dispose kar diya kuch kuch rubber isme se recycle bhi hote hain okay cycle ke tire ke puncher cycle ke jab tire hota hai ya gaadi ke jab tire puncher hota hai ab kisi mechanic ke paas jaate ho so you just try to you use you will just find this this sort of image over there okay right textile textile is also as a form of waste thoda thoda kam generate hota hai but generate hota hai okay textiles in msw occur in discarded clothing jo hum log clothes fek dete hain kapde fek dete hain okay so that are waste or furniture carpets footwear and other non durable goods such as towels wo bhi hamare kya hota hai textiles mein generate hota hai okay the domestic textile and apparel market should have estimated 100 billion dollars 2020 ka estimated market hai and 36.04 million bales in financial year 2020 it bales nahi sorry hai dollars hoga theek hai na sorry se puch liya 36.41 million dollars, okay, financial 20. It is estimated that more than 1 million tons of textiles are thrown away every year. 1 million tons of textile in India, we throw it every year with most of them coming from household sources. Our household sources say 1 million tons of waste of textile is generated every year. Textile make up 3% by weight in household bin. Your household bin is a dustbin. 3% of waste is generated. If you have 100 grams of waste generated, then 3 grams of textile is generated. At least 50% of the textile that one throws away are recyclable. 50% are recyclable. Means 50% you can recycle, 50% you can dump it on the dumping ground. Okay. And only, but practically, only 25% of the waste are recycled. If 50% of the textiles are recycled, but only 25% is recycled, means where are the 20, other 25% is going on the waste dump. In total, 75% waste is going in the waste dump. Jabki usu 50% recycle kar sakte. Okay. Textiles are dekho, low income countries, 1 to 5%, 2 to 10%. To 10 percent over here in India, 1.2 to 1.5 percent, 3.9 to 4.5 percent for US. Okay, so yeah, up uh, is there some data of a yeah, pay ticket. So next, we let's move forward. Textiles come. So, textile, if you just dispose it over there, there are plastic codes disposed to textile, a couple of paper, you should decrap, yeah, of course, upset the king. Ticket next is food waste. Okay. Next is food waste. Okay. Okay. The Indian food market. Okay. So, you know, you go to restaurants, you go to the restaurants, you go to the marriage, we go for and we consume food. Okay. Marriage, we have a lot of functions. We have a lot of food. So, you can see that Indian, as much as you have gatherings in India, you have gatherings in India, you have food waste. Okay. So, the Indian food market is currently valued at US 1.3 million US dollars. And it is growing at a compound growth annual growth of 20%. 20% so we grow karta hai. And if you look at food markets, food market, restaurants, hotels, where kaapi achhe, they will be grow kar rahe hai. Okay. Around, ek chiz aata thna, 67 million tons of food is wasted in India every year. Every year, 67 million tons of waste, yeh waste hota hai food in India mein. And it is around 92,000 crore rupees. 92,000 crore rupees ke aspas ka waste food jata hai. Okay. Food waste include uneaten food, jamo food, khana phik dete hai, food preparation, waste, from residences, commercial establishments, okay, our schools and cafeterias, which are waste you generate, you have a cafeteria, you have a cafeteria, you have a dustbin, you have a dustbin, you have all the plates, food waste, you have all the waste, okay, the combination of food waste, now you have to see, now you have to see, low income countries, food waste, 40-65%, 20-60% is in middle income countries, 20-50% in the high income countries, why difference, why food waste is more in low income countries, why food waste is, more in high low income countries and it is high in the middle income countries or the high income countries. 
उसका सबसे बड़ा ये है कि अगर आप कंपेरिजन करोगे तो लो इनकम कंट्रीज में द पॉवर्टी रेट इज वेरी मच हाई सो ऑब्वियसली द वेस्ट द फूड प्रोडक्ट आर वेस्टेड विल ऑलवेज बी कंपेरेटिवली हाई अगर आप इंडिया को देखो फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट इंडिया में वट एवर शादी हम जाते हैं कभी खाना खाने जाते किधर किधर भी आते हैं ठीक है सो क्या होता है कि दैट वट एवर थिंग्स वी टेक इन द प्लेट ट्राई टू एटलीस्ट कंज्यूम इट चाहे आप इतने ज्यादा खाते हो इतना कम खाते हो Try to consume it, but we waste lot of food. But you compare it with the other countries, you will just find it a contrasting difference over there that the food that they that they use, they consume it. Jitna chahiye utna lete hain, they consume it and what kam food waste hota hai. That is the difference is shown over here itself. Forty to sixty percent India mein, India mein forty to sixty as a food waste generated hota hai and same is very low in case of USA. You run only twenty to twenty three percent. Okay. So. This is the food waste. जहां पर भी जाते हो दिखता ऐसे ही है ठीक है ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट दार्ड वेस्ट ओके एक काम करो टाइम हमारे पास एक मिनट से कम बाकी है ओके सिर्फ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी मिनट लगेगा हमको ठीक है खत्म होने पर ही है ठीक है ट्वेंटी मिनट्स और लगेंगे सो एक और लिंक में फॉरवर्ड करता हूँ व्हाट्सएप पे जस्ट ज्वाइन बाय दैट लिंक अटेंडेंस भी जो रहेगा वो हम लोग नेक्स्ट वाले लेक्चर में आपको उसका लेक में कमेंट करूंगा ठीक है